Hi, I'm Dr. Brent Dagel with the TIFF College of Education at Mercer University and today I'm going to give you an overview of a research project that Dr. Kane and I were recently involved in. It involved a group of fourth grade students um, who were uh, working on a thematic unit and the thematic unit was trying to cover three specific uh, objectives. Those that had to do with English language arts, those that had to do with reading and with technology. The idea was that instead of writing a research report on an animal, that, that the students would still do all the research necessary about a particular animal, but instead of writing it out, that they would make a movie about it instead, a, a mini documentary, three to five minutes, if you will. In five, four, three, two. This is Avery Hickman reporting live with Channel 360, Smallest Animal Planet Channel. Today I have breaking news update on the smallest monkey in the world. Some, Some of you don't, don't even know what I am talking about. But by the end of this documentary, your brain won't be able to hold all the facts I'm going to give you. Where were we? Oh yeah, back to the smallest monkey in the world. It's called the Pygmy Marmoset. Do you even know what it looks like? The color of it? And we examined how this worked and if it was beneficial and what the students said. Okay, what else did you work on? What other skills? Reading type skills. Fluency and how like we read and how we have expression. Okay, how did this project help you with fluency? Um, because we had to read our scripts out loud on a movie type thing. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Let me ask you one more question. You mentioned that it helps you with technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what kind of technology skills did you learn as a result of this project? iPad skills, like how you yeah, How can... did you use the iPad in reading? What did you learn? Um, we we learned how you can use the iPad in the library okay. and like read on it and how and you, know you can um, how it like works, how you can like just read off of it. And in notes, you can type your type. Okay. You can type it. So it helps us a lot like that. Kind okay. Of stuff. The technology used in this project was primarily Apple computer, uh, Apple technology. Students had, uh, each student had an iPad. There was Mac, MacBook Pro, Mac Air, and iPod Touch used throughout this project. Uh, occasionally students would get on the computer to, to look up research and what they did is that they they would gather all these materials about their animal and they would put it in iBooks and so just indiscriminately they would go through the Galileo um, journal database they would go through the internet they would go through the library the, the, the resources here at the library and they put it in iBooks you better stop picking on these little animals Excuse me, I'll rephrase that. These huge animals. Because one day we may not have them anymore. Just because there is a movie called Dumbo doesn't mean they are dumb. In fact, they are very intelligent, loving, kind, and sensitive. As they went through the research process, they were able to, to decipher what information was relevant for their, for their documentary and what information wasn't so relevant. I like the facts, but I like the introduction the most. The introduction was interesting. It made me think of Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah, that's, like when they come on stage, you're like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. Okay, let me see. How many... No, but what if you just state it? Instead of saying a question, just say it. There are many different kinds of chipmunks. You didn't know you put, you put that. There, there are many different kinds of chipmunks, period. Like there are people around the world. Do you like that idea? Yeah. Like there are people around the world. Yeah. Okay. And at the end of their of their time gathering these th this information then they wrote a script and in the script much like the research paper they told the main ideas and told the story in a compelling way that that where the listener was able to learn something new about the animal that they researched there really was a loose um, the, the directions from the teacher were were very flexible I mean the directions were essentially choose an animal um, find enough resources and information to research on this animal and then produce a digital piece uh, where you, you tell a, a documentary, uh, a brief documentary about this animal. And from what we're hearing from the students, this was an exciting project. One of the things that came out of the discussions with the students was several, um, several mentioned how much they really do not like to write and they 
do not like the writing process. Sammy, tell me about your experience in this research project. Tell, speak where I can hear you. It was really fun. And what was so fun about it? That we got to make a movie about it instead of just writing it down. You enjoyed not having to write, but did you write stuff down then? Yeah. Okay. So why did you enjoy this more than a traditional book report? Because I don't like writing. Neither. You don't like writing either? To be honest with you, in this group of eight students, there was a range of abilities from some kids with learning disabilities, some kids who um, participate in the gifted classes. It, it was a, a very mixed ability group. And when we saw these kids talk about, some of them, the struggles they have with writing and how this technology was a critical piece. In fact, one kid said, the greatest part of this was we didn't have to do any writing. And as the other kids talked it out, they slowly realized that there was a lot of writing in this project, but because of the technology and because of the resources, they felt like, you know, it was, it was embedded in the technology and then it, it wasn't uh, as painful experiences as they thought writing would be. So I think this was a, something that teachers could certainly do in the classroom. Uh, it doesn't cost any extra money. If you have a basic computer, basic movie software, basic recording software, you can do a digital documentary. And I, I, from the reports from the students, it seems to impact their uh, literacy outcomes, their writing outcomes, their use of technology. It seems to benefit their um, social interactions with others. So I would say this is something that teachers should definitely try um, and experience it themselves in the classroom. <laughs> Stop right there. Beautiful ivory spear like tusk. You better. We're going to come back to our editing. Right now, we're going to work together as a group. We're going to help him make sure the story is. Okay. Oh, wow. Wait, so we need someone to like read his the page. voice. His voice. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm in voice. the world. It goes to. This is Avery Hickney signing off with ch Channel 360, the smallest animal planet channel.